Our guest today is Miss Luzette King. Luzette is no stranger to Caribbeana. She was formerly a board member of WPFW local station board. Uh, she's now returned to the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, her homeland. And we keep in touch with her now and then, you know, to get a sense of what's going on in the region. How are you doing, Luzette? It's nice to talk to you, man. I know. It's nice, nice, nice to talk to you. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, I mean, you know, a lot has been happening in the islands, in the region. Um, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, they just had a big carnival. You had some other activities taking place. Amongst them, uh, the celebration of one person who was a part of the 9-11 catastrophe. Uh, are there any reactions to that 9-11 celebration? Ron, to be very honest with you, if I wasn't, if I didn't have access to the US media, I wouldn't even remember it. And nobody has mentioned it here. I haven't heard it in the news or anything. Um, and and I'm not sure what that signifies. Right. But in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we have our own problems. Yes. Um, and while I say we have our own problems, a lot of it resonates across the, the region. We have some leaders who are the worst in our history. Um, and I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of it, honestly. Yes, but yes. to answer your question, there wasn't anything of significance to commemorate the 911 yeah, catastrophe, yeah. This, this, yeah. despite the fact that we did lose a national, one Cox, can't remember his first name, but he has a brother who is a, a judge in uh, New Jersey. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, um, it seems your your expression seems to echo in other sentiments of the islands of the Caribbean. And uh, it all boils down to leadership. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, that seems to be a problem, you know. Um, but in St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, how are people coping with the post-hurricane, uh, the, the post-burial uh, situation? I tell you, it's one of the most disastrous events, and and as you might be, you you might re remember, we had the Sufre in two thousand. What was it? Two thousand twenty-one, thereabout. Right. It was more or less at the tail end of um, the COVID. Yes. So we had that. Still, we haven't really recovered from that because from the COVID. Uh, pandemic, this government enacted a mandate and fired, fired hundreds of police, teachers, nurses, literally fired them. Right. In some right. cases, police went uh, on, at their workplaces to usher them off the, the um, you know, usher mm -hmm. them away. Right, right. Uh, the unions, the, the trade unions, the, the, the uh, public service union and the teachers, they took the matter to court and won resoundingly. Uh, Justice Esco Henry declared that these people were never fired. In other words, it was null and void. They were still employees yes. of the government. Yeah. And the government appealed using our tax money, appealed. That appeal was heard in May, and Vaughn, we're still awaiting the results. So I heard a, a, a news, a, a journalist say that by rights, the appeal, any appeal, should you know, you should have the judgment within 120 days. Mm -hmm. Well, this was May, and we're still waiting. So, in the meantime, some of the people who have been affected, they've lost their homes. They can't send their children to school because their livelihoods are gone. Right, right. Others right, have right. turned to other things. For example, I have a niece. Um, well, she she's slightly different because she was out um, as a political, <laughs> a political victim. So she turned to making her own clothes, cooking, baking, and that right, sort of thing, right. you know? Self-employment. Yeah. Yeah. That's one to, thing. To, yeah, to be specific about burial, as you know, it's 
literally wiped out the southern part of, of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which is yeah. the, the Grenadines. Right. My row, I think there was one or two houses left coming up. Uh, well, you have further south is Union, then My row, uh, Kanawan, Mustique, and Beckway, in that order. Yes. But there's been a lot of politics played with it. Most people do not trust this regime because they would garner funds from all over for these disasters and they're not distributed equally. If you're not wearing the party color, you don't get anything. Mm -hmm. And some people claim that they got uh, some hundreds of millions of dollars post to Fred that didn't, that was not distributed. Right. And now in the Grenadines, you have a fight because we don't have local government. Everything is centralized. Right. I was hearing yesterday that some uh, agencies, uh, international agencies have donated money. I don't know what the setup is, but apparently they bypassed the government and donated this money directly to the people in Union Island especially. Right, right, right. Another thing is the government, instead of building, rebuilding the communities in the Grenadines, they built schools on the mainland, forcing people to come to literally abandon their homes and come to the mainland. Mm -hmm. That too is political because we're due an election soon and we see this as a way of, um, you know, using people in key constituencies to register so that they can inflate the votes. Right, right. Well, on a more, on a more better note, um, the Olympics, we saw the smaller yeah. islands of the Caribbean yes. making headway. I mean, how was yes. it? <laughs> well, we we have this young lady, um, Maloney. She, it's sad because she got there after exposing that she was doing so well and couldn't get help from her government or anybody. So a Jamaican media a journalist took on her case and literally embarrassed us. So the government and some business people, you know, decided to help her. But I mean, this child at some point, she was homeless. Right. right. Couldn't buy food and that sort of thing. And now she's getting what she deserves went to um to the olympics and really didn't have much experience but she did very well right right, right. did well i think she came fourth yeah. and you know we were happy we were elated <laughs> yeah, yeah, people yeah. met in kingstown to watch it on the big screen and right. that sort of thing yes and um, but, but people still play in carnival though well that too had some controversy uh i'm a carnival person as you know and I didn't think we should have gone ahead with Carnival, especially just after Beryl. Really, right, right. But people in Union, I'm telling you, people's houses crumbled. Yeah, yeah, we saw it. And I think if it were in the night, yeah. we would have had deaths. I think we only had six. Yeah. But, you know, these were people there. I mean, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we tend to treat the Grenadines as not part of St. Vincent. Historically, that's what it's been. Yeah. So for us to have a carnival on the mainland, it, it sort of didn't ring well with a lot of people. Right, right. Well, but we, we still had our calypso shows. Uh, yeah, well. right, 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 right. Well, when you see my friend Beckett, tell him I say hello. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. He, he's he's doctor, doctor now, you know. Yes, Dr. Beckett, yeah. Dr. Aston, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, he deserves every bit of it. He's I been agree, working steadfastly. Yeah. And now he's into a lot of voluntary work where he yeah. lives. He raises funds for people to get help for um health mm -hmm. health situations yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Sort of yeah. yeah yeah well listen lose that nice talking to you i'm looking forward to talking to you again um no problem you know, no problem uh, we'll stay in touch okay yeah I, I know i know you want to know what's going on when the election happens i definitely yeah, yeah, yeah i plan right. to talk to godwin friday yeah. ah yes 
Have you met him? Have you have you been in touch with him? Not recently. Not recently. Okay, but you can if you want to. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. That's all fine. right. Okay. Okay. Take we have care. been we have been speaking with Luzette King, a good friend of Caribbeana and a former member of the board of directors, um, the local board of directors of WPFW. This is Ron Martin. Caribbeana continues.